Welcome back to the Stoop Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. I got Mark here. Yep. I got James here. He's a happy camper. Hey, we like seeing Leeds United win. Um, we That's even right. came out in what was snow moments ago, but now it's turned into rain. But if you guys remember correctly, the last time Leeds United played Newcastle United, I came out here by myself in the snowstorm because you won five to two. Well, today, two to one, a lot different of a match, but uh, I would say a Leeds United team that, could I actually say it, are they changing a little bit? Is, is something changing? I, I, I saw them take a lead and go, all right, guys, we got yeah. this, relax, relax. And then gave up a goal, got mm -hmm. the goal back, and then went back to yeah. relax, relax. Definitely James, saw that today. James, am I wrong about that? Or is that, am I just seeing things? Or has Bielsa maybe started to make some changes to his tactics? Yeah, I mean, I, I think maybe to a certain degree, uh, what you saw was uh, was actually happening out there. I think that there was a sort of a an attempt to uh, maybe not you know protect a one goal lead, but at least keep things a little tighter in the back. Well, especially after Urente went out, right? Yeah. Uh, once Urente went out. Then we really couldn't take a lot of the chances we were taking in those first, you know, nine to ten minutes. So you saw they moved, they moved Stroik out a little bit towards the left. So Stroik was essentially playing kind of a hybrid, uh, you know, center back, left back position. Uh, so that kind of took that took a lot of what we wanted to do, I think, when Urente went out uh, out of the playbook. And I think we had to sort of change things around a little bit. So I think that yeah, some adjustments were made. Definitely, I think that you yeah, what you saw, like I said, was reality. Um, but at the same time, I mean, you saw at the end of the match, you know, we have a couple of chances to kill some time off. We go into the corner, run some time, but no, uh, instead we're like, eh, why not? Uh, let's, you, try, let's try to get a third. You, you know? saw Luke Ayling uh, going, so, yeah, Luke Ayling was like, okay, to the to the corner, but, 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 okay, we'll try one thing, one thing. Okay, no, no, okay, back to the corner. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's try, let's try one more. Okay, okay, back to me, back to me. Uh, so I saw it was there, but that's the thing where I'm talking. There was no hesitation before where right. at this, this point in the game, they're going for right. it no matter what. So that's where I felt there was a little bit of, of difference. But uh, I, don't, I think so too. No, I think you're right. Yeah, a big, that's big, a valid observation. big issue with uh, Urente going down right away. I know a lot of people were happy to see him in there. Happy to see uh, that moved Stuart Dallas up into the midfield. Which I thought, okay, now now he doesn't have so much defending to to be responsible for, but then right away, man, that so that hurts. Do you know anything about the Urente injury? Now it looked like a hamstring, right? I mean, he was holding his hamstring, which is his I mean, problem. Hamstring injuries, you know, that soft muscle, soft tissue. So you're yeah. talking about you know four to six weeks, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would think. I mean, I had a pulled hamstring once. So it was about a month or two before I got back, you know, to playing. So the same, yeah, I think same thing. That's terrible. That's terrible. Man. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the guy. I really got. I feel sorry for him. You know, I feel badly for him. But, um, but man, he's you know he's made of glass. I mean, uh, <laughs> he's got uh, you know these injury issues have to get resolved uh, in order for him to be effective in order to make any sort of contribution on the team. Yeah. I mean, you can't have a guy you know just him keeps going down consistently like that. No. And then now you know we have Koch, who's recovering from surgery. God knows when he's going to be available. Uh, you know, Urente had not expect back until the end of March, probably. I mean, I would say conservatively, yeah. you know, middle of March, end of March. And then um, tough injury. If, he have, yeah. if, if he has a pulled hamstring. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I mean, it's just you can't get healthy back there. We, I mean, we are we are absolutely snake bit in, in that particular area of the, of the pitch. It's really uh, it's disturbing yeah. and frustrating. So what are the... Um... What are the the good and the bad that you saw in this match? So what are you happy about? Uh, the good, I thought I thought that uh, that Harrison had a really good match. I thought Rafinha was absolute class. Uh, not only the goal that he scored, but also some assists. The assists to uh, Harrison, absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's the you know he, he's the world class player we had. I mean, I, I think that he and, and Calvin Phillips may be like the two world-class players on that squad. Uh, everybody else is, you know, kind of a, you know, a, a journeyman cha a premiership player slash championship player, which again is a, is a testament to what um, Bielsa's been able to do. 
But at the same time, I mean, I, yeah, I think Rafinha is just absolute class, man. I mean, the guy, uh, you know, he he dictated play earlier on in that match and was absolutely fantastic. The bad things, um, defense, you know, mm -hmm. uh, our defensive issues continue. Uh, you know, too many, we gave uh, half a dozen free kicks. Yeah. Uh, you know, that were in, you know, Wait, dangerous areas. And last, last I saw, they were, Newcastle was at like nine corners as well yeah. as they the free kicks. Set pieces. Yes. The set pieces were, yeah. so I don't know if you're like, our defense sucks, but hell, that's like 15 set pieces <laughs> <laughs> and they only got one goal. Right. So, right. So, so there's definitely something to be something to take away from that. Yeah, that yeah. We, did, we didn't allow anything to go in from a set piece. Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought when I thought when Saint Max and Mac came into the match, he kind of changed the match for them. You know, uh, the game they started, was much they more really watchable. started pushing up uh, up the pitch, uh, creating some chances, some opportunities. Uh, he gave our back four a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave Calvin Phillips a lot of problems. So it was uh, that was that was, there, there's some you know, some dodgy moments in the match, I thought, for us, for the especially for our defense. Um, that would be my only concern. Uh, and I think that's, we're going to have that same issue going forward, obviously, because of the injuries. You know yeah. I mean? We just can't, we can't get all that sorted out back there. Yeah. And that is, you know, which, like I said, was really frustrating about this and, you know, infuriating. I can only imagine how Bielsa feels. Uh, and someone like Llorente, who can't get healthy, uh, can't play a full match. <laughs> So, yeah. Jeez, man. Yeah. Well, um, going on now, going on the offensive. I we were having some big discussion watching this match about Patrick Bamford, and again, where it just you saw him like have a bad first touch, and he threw his hands up, yeah. and we were both going. His, his frustration Who? was huge today. But who's he just, complaining it just about? Keeps, you know, his frustration to me. We talk about it week in, week out. It just continues to build and build and build. And there was something that I noticed today is that the passes to him were becoming a little less. They weren't yeah. finding Banford as much as they might in the past. So maybe the team around him is starting to lose a little confidence. I'm not sure about that. And then, and then, you know, I'm not, I'm, I wasn't paying quite as much attention to that. But what I did notice is Bielsa took him out at the 60th minute, yeah. which is huge, to yeah. put Tyler Roberts on when the game is still close. Mm -hmm. But I saw Tyler Roberts. We've complained about him a lot, and I said he should be gone, but I thought he put in a shift. Uh, he was making tackles and stuff, but then he was making runs, yep. and people were trying to find him. Yep. Luke Ayling was trying to find him. Calvin Phillips tried to find him a few times, and it was, it, I was like, where were those in the first half? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe because Bamford wasn't making those runs. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and and he was uh, there. Were, there were moments too where Bamford seemed to be out of position, uh, and that was that was an issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I think. I think mentally uh, he's not there right now. Uh, there's something something off uh, with his play and with his approach to the game. Uh, that's you know that's a, 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 a concern. Obviously, I mean it's why. You know, we had all these offers from championship clubs for Tyler Phillips. I mean, for Tyler Roberts, but we didn't want him gone. I mean, you know, we also wanted to keep him, and obviously for good reason. I mean, I thought that Bielsa today took off two worst performers for us. You know, yeah, as soon as he could. Yeah, and, yeah. and that was you know Bamford and Alioski. Alioski. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought Alioski was just having a dreadful match. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was getting beaten yeah. constantly, yeah. making some you know some really dangerous yeah. tackles. Uh, and you know, I thought that he was uh, he was in trouble, and then of course Bamford was just a non-factor. So, well, you I mean, I think Bielsa had to stir things up, and he did by uh, by getting Roberts onto the pitch. For real. And I thought Roberts, yeah, I thought Roberts, you know, put in a, a decent performance. Probably should have had a goal for that one, uh, you know, that did. one pass from uh, yeah. Rafinha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, it was difficult mm -hmm. when you see he, when you see how hard the pass came in, and all it really needed was a flick. But Darlow just got enough of a hand. He could he could have done better. But yeah. I was more impressed with his – he had a few key tackles, which were yes. so close to being yellow cards, mm -hmm. but were but were clean tackles in the end. So, I don't know, man. I, I was – the way he came on and was like, are you kidding me? I've got 30 minutes to play? Mm -hmm. Ew, let's go. That's how I feel Bamford needs to be playing every single match because – 
you're one signing away from him being a backup. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. I was him, I would have that mentality. It's January. Let's yeah. not give them any excuse to go out and buy somebody. He should yeah. be starting every match. And that's how we started the season. That's why we get on him is we wouldn't get on him if we hadn't seen such good aggressive play in the first yeah. part of the season. Yeah. So yeah. now, I don't know, it's a confidence thing. It's a, I don't know, yeah, but it's now guys, or never, pal. Yeah, like, if you guys had the luxury, I, I, I think he would benefit from being sat for a couple of games. Just to like, yeah. you know, hey guy, maybe think about it, you know? Uh, yeah. But, yeah, no, I mean, no, Bamford has the luxury of being the only striker, yeah, really, the yeah, only yeah. viable striker that we have. Mm -hmm. And we actually need someone behind him to put pressure on him, I feel. Yeah. I feel that he needs sometimes to be pushed. Mm -hmm. And right now there's really nothing, there's no impetus behind him pushing him to be yeah. better. And yeah. instead, maybe it's complacency. I mean, I don't know. Um, maybe those goals at the beginning of the season, you know, yeah. kind of got him in a mindset where he felt like he should be scoring every single match. Now that he isn't, now that he's hit this, this extended dry spell, Maybe, you know, I mean, the, like you said, the frustration's building. His, his mentality is starting to yeah. kind of, you know, change for the worse. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he does, and he's losing that sort of striker's mentality. Right. But you have to have, like I said, you're going to have bad matches, but you have to pick yourself up and go back out there and play again. You know, it's... Yeah. And I, I just don't know if he's there right now. Yeah. Well, either way, it's a very, very good win, and it's a good win on the table. Um, it's another three points away from the relegation zone and it's knocking a relegation a team a team that's gonna be in that fight it's knocking them further away from you as well um so i know you guys didn't move up in the table at all but you're creeping up and you're staying up there and once again that's that's key that's a number one so and a, a win is a win yeah definitely take it yeah. and and that's yeah. you guys won both matches is this the first the first uh, team you've won uh, home and away against? Hey, I think so. Yeah. In the new Premier League era of Leeds United, you you got the double on them. <laughs> exactly. I, yeah, yeah, you hadn't done it yet. So it was, to uh, many more. It was a, a hard fought yes. win toward the end there. Things got a little chippy. <laughs> yeah. You know, things got a little <laughs> chippy at the end. What do you think uh, Rodrigo said to share when he was down? There was something he he got in his into his face and said something. I could tell you exactly yeah. what he said. <laughs> He's like, "You little yeah, fucker, there, you there hit were, me uh, in the face." And then he and then that? he fell down and he goes, "Stop being a little that, bitch." That oh, was yeah. a John Stark's <laughs> quality flop. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was. I couldn't yeah, yeah, believe. I couldn't believe that there. flop. Had, uh, it was Calvin hysterical. Too, and um, and Jack Harrison. Yeah, know, yeah, that was. He had a couple. Yeah, I got my thing that. Yeah, they were. Uh, yeah, there was there was definitely some chippiness out there on the pitch today. Uh, no no doubt about that. I think I think Newcastle is getting desperate, right? I mean, they yeah. realize they need to start. They need to start winning. And I think that, you know, Steve Bruce is probably telling them, look, I want to see you out there, uh, you know, acting at least like you want to win. I mean, I want yeah. to see you, you know, yeah. being in, you know, player space and being yeah. more physical, uh, whatever you have to do. You know, this, this is a recently promoted side. We can maybe intimidate them, yeah. you know, use our physicality on them, do yeah. something, uh, you know, but we need that edge. We need yeah. an edge. Mm -hmm. And I think that might have been it. Like, we're not going to take anything from these upstarts and we're going right. you know, yeah, yeah, to try yeah. to teach them a lesson and instead. Yeah, well, they, losing, but. they looked better. Newcastle looked better, and I think you're right. When Saint Maxi Man starts starts playing, because yeah. he he's yeah. a beast. Yeah. He, right yeah, now he totally changed. He's playing for a new contract at another club. <laughs> <laughs> like that's yeah. what he's doing for the rest of the season. Yeah. Well, right. once he gets fit, once he gets fit, I think that he, he has the potential to keep them up. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think there's there's enough there's enough talent on the pitch for uh, the barcodes to keep to, to keep them up if. You know, Saint Maximus is, is fit. Yeah. Uh, if he's not fit. I mean, that's that's obviously an issue. But he's yeah. he's the motor. You know, he's yeah. the motor of that uh, of that team. Yeah. All right, James. Well, uh, good solid win. You're moving up in the table, and um, exactly. It is. We we got to get out of here. Our gear's getting wet. We're getting soaking. <laughs> Ow, my nose. Freaking Charlie Brown over here. What's going on? All right. Um, and my my Arsenal match has started, so I got to get inside and watch that. Um, and uh, we'll be back with the Arsenal post-match after this. All right, James, what do we say, pal? All right, leads, leads, leads. All right, peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell. Do all that good stuff. Later. <laughs> <laughs>